Uh, the example itself is in terms of uh, the, the technical part of finding the derivative, it's very straightforward. Uh, what we have a function in two variable that read 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared. Okay, What we need to do is find, uh, so this will be part A, that, that will be a piece of cake. We need to evaluate, again I write fine but I meant evaluate. So A, evaluate um, del F del X at uh, 1, 1 and del F del Y at 1, 1. That's nothing to it. But this is uh, the interpretation sketch and interpret. So this will, the part B will be the challenge. Part A, we take the derivative, the left the x is a negative 2x, right? And therefore, the left the x evaluated at 1, 1 is negative 2, done. The left the y equals negative 4y, and therefore, del f del y evaluated 1 1 is negative 4 done. So what does it mean? It means that um, if you approach this particular point 1 1 on this particular surface in a, in a direction while holding y as a fixed value in this case y equals 1 and very x in other words, you approach on a, in a direction parallel to the x-axis, then you go down by a rate of change that is negative 2, so the slope of that particular tangent will be negative 2. Likewise, if you hold x equals 1 and, and you uh, approach the point 1, 1 along an axis, along a, a tangent that is parallel to the y-axis, then the rate of change is negative 4. In other words, you have a steeper slope at that point. So to sketch it, you need to realize that, uh, uh, okay, let's not realize, let's talk about it. What is this uh, shape? What is this surface? <coughs> to analyze the surface, let's set, let's let, uh, we'll write uh, z equals 4 minus x squared minus 2y squared, okay? And first look at the when what happened when z equal a constant or z equal zero. That that's the easiest constant of the of the world. Then we have x squared minus I'm sorry, x squared plus two y squared equal four. What is this? It's not a circle, it's an ellipse. Okay. Now let's let x equal zero and then we have z equals four minus two y squared. What is it? Come on, guys. What is z equals 4 minus 2y squared? The parabola, right? Let's let y equal 0, and we have z equal 4 minus x squared. What is this? Parabola. So we have two parabolas and one ellipse. So what do we call a surface like that? Elliptic paraboloid. Okay, it's a paraboloid because uh, on two axes we have a parabola, or we have two parabolas, and a cross section, the horizontal cross section, will be an ellipse. So, so we write this is a, an elliptic paraboloid. I think this person who invented these names need to be shot, but. But uh, it is what it is. It makes sense on one end. So how we, we graph it? Well, if you think about it, so when we let y equal 0, you have a parabola, uh, z equals 4 minus x squared. So the vertex will be at 4. We have a parabola on this side, and we have a parabola on the back side. When x equals 0, <coughs> then you have the parabola z 
equals 4 minus 2y squared. So it will have this parabola, and I think it's it's narrower parabola. So it will be this way, and and will shade on this side, and then the cross section is an ellipse. Okay, something like that. So I'll do some more cross section like so. So this is the the shape. Okay. No, that's the shape of the of the surface. Okay, so this is the paraboloid Z equals four minus x squared minus two y squared. Now, what happens when we cut and we we hold um, y fixed at one and we take the derivative with respect to x? Okay, so when y equals one, y equals one is a plane. It's a vertical plane. Uh, that is is what? What 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 when I, y equals one? What do you have? What do you have? You have z equals four minus x squared minus two times one, or z equals two minus x squared. So. It is the parabola z equals two minus x squared. Okay, so let's let's uh, let's visit the uh, elliptic paraboloid, but this time we let y equals one. So we're going to cut it right here at y equals one. Okay, if the paraboloid is something like that, when we cut it. Let me draw it again. This is the paraboloid. But now we cut it at y equals 1. So we have this thing. Okay. I missed. It should be supposed to be 1 here. So, And let me remove the unnecessary lines like so. So, and this surface is where we're going to find our derivative. So, the uh, the derivative we found on this curve, uh, and this is a curve now. The curve is z equals two minus x squared. And what happened at one one? Well, the slope is negative two. At one one, it's a point right there, but you know it's about right here when x and y equals one, and you can see that you have negative slope right there. Likewise, if uh, so, <coughs> let me draw it. So you have the derivative is the slope of this tangent. Okay. So slope equals negative two. At it's parallel to the x-axis if you look at it, or from the side, if you, uh, or from the top. Okay. It's parallel to the x-axis because it's along the line y equals one. Okay. And now the same thing. X equals one is a vertical plane that is the parabola okay what happened when x equals 1 well z equals uh, 4 minus 1 minus 2y squared or 3 minus 2y squared right So, uh, let me, one more challenge. Let me try to sketch it.
I better, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to sketch the whole paraboloid and then I'll erase what doesn't apply. Okay? So this is the whole paraboloid, like so. And now, when x equals 1, let's make this x equals 1, and we have a cross section right here, and we're going to cut, like so. So this is the surface defined by the paraboloid, and then take this part off. This is a little bit quicker this time. Take this part off too. So right now x equals 1. Okay. The point 1, 1 would be somewhere where y equals 1, so you'd be somewhere here, and the, the tangent is r sitting right here. Okay. So this, the, this parabola is z equals 3 minus 2y squared. And the slope here uh, is negative 4 at 1, 1. Okay?